problems with Socrates from what factually is known about the life of Socrates in the state of Athens then Socrates had that role of advocating for oppression of the demos the happiness of people does not arise when they are enslaved or subjugated or from uh, any number of causes including uh, bad morality mankind naturally desires freedom rather than slavery that Plato would advocate for female opportunity to oppress the masses as guardian rulers may have been a political gambit to get feminine support always important even today for bad political actions as well as good certainly women can reason well enough however abstract reason doesn't compensate for lack of experience for either gender in the 5th century BC childbirth was quite dangerous and in some places still is why did Socrates want to abolish families and have the state raise progeny from mysterious liaisons Socrates might have ruminated about his first wife, Xantope, and alleged second wife, Myrto, and thought about the good points of a commonality of women in the utopian republic. He might have imagined that a prime role of philosopher kings would have been to impregnate lower classes so far as possible, and outbreed undesirable characteristics such as the will for independence. In that idea, he wouldn't be unique. Yet even from an evolutionary perspective, diversity is better than everyone having the same nose. Women have tended to rule the home at times, while men go out in the streets and fields to fight, strive, or labor. The enfranchised agree not to kill one another, dominate the in increments of sustainability, or dump the excrements in the gutters. What could be better than that? Well... Democracy can try to improve education and assure a fair ba basic social balance politically. The marketplace of ideas need be free of operant tyranny that excludes the masses from getting a natural selection of the best ideas, songs, poems, or science fiction novels. Eventually, women, too, can arise to go out in the streets, fight, agree not to kill one another, and labor, and they do. Maids from Mexico maintain homes for cheaper wages than Americans would demand from their middle and upper class employers. Everyone likes exploitable labor, even philosopher kings, the supreme Soviets of the world, and boss tweeds. Said hierarchies are not invariably the most efficient structure for data processing algorithms. Such are preclusive of much extraneous data and inertially tend to follow predetermined courses without capability of restructuring values, concepts, and so forth, vital for social good. The proposal for the education of female potential philosopher kings may have been unrealistically patronizing to entice Plato's prospects. The average lifespan was less than 25, I would guess, in the 5th century B.C., one wonders how wise women might have become guarded themselves as cloistered nud-warrior queens, forming abstract ideas of the conduct of war, an ideal social development, planting and nurturing 5th century Athenians relying upon court favorite consultants, perhaps primordial lobbyists from beyond. One might wonder if elites have a class thing regarding their self-bestowed concept of supremacy, it requires that their women, too, are better than those cattle ruled. Catherine the Great was a competent elite ruler of, Russian, of Russia, quite promiscuous and actually German, yet Socrates advocated against families and for state-raising of all children, a very beehive concept that simply isn't very good in some ways. The Republic, a prototype of a fascist Orwellian, communist dictatorship the Khmer Rouge might have appreciated. One mustn't forget that the new Kim of North Korea has already been decreed the genius amongst geniuses. The Roman version of the Republic had a dictator for a year when war required transcending the joint consulship more realistic policy than having female war leaders in that day. Some generals fled from the rear and others from the front. Alexander led from the front, as did Caesar when necessary. 
elites, though, of a non-democratic sort have a greater tendency to lead in absentia from a comfortable harem bar or pleasure dome, sending the mere commoners to do the menial tasks, such as war. On the other hand, one might argue that female philosopher kings of a bureaucratic disposition would have been Amazon-like warriors. I think war is a specialized occupation, though, that makes one less philosophical with rank. I am not persuaded that elite rulers can be trained to pursue the good for society and knowledge of war at the same time, nor that the guardians would not have been biased, uh, have a biased point of view. That was that the good for society is when philosopher kings rule, rather like those tin pot dictators for life of second and third world countries, and increasingly the United States with an automatic second term. Socrates influenced people like the Alcibiades to disrespect democracy and that cost Athenian lives, such as in the war against Syracuse, when Alcibiades decided to switch sides and turn traitor because he was relieved of command of the Athenian navy after a drunken night defacing statues of demiurges in some temple that was probably the Parthenon. The Wall Street quant traders and a CDO packagers were and are the nation's elites nurtured in misguided economic philosophy. Adam Smith's capitalism was less accentuated than the concept of self-regulated social free enterprise. Free enterprise today should have regulations to preserve competition and access and access to capital by the masses as opposed to a reduction in concentrated wealth. Corporations should be allowed to have no more than 5,000 employees, and individuals should invest in no more than three corporations. It is possible to restore Adam Smith's intentions in formalizing capitalism as an economic theory so that the economic good of the citizenry is maximized rather than that of the few. Smith and Hume were anti-aristocratic economic powers instead of proponents of it. One may admire Plato creating the foundation for philosophical realism with this realm of forms paradigm, even Kripke and Nate.